This is breaking news. K-pop boy band 17 to play National Stadium in January. After BTS, Blackpink, and Stray Kids, 17 will be the next K-pop act to play at the National Stadium in Singapore. The 13-member group will stage the 17 Right Here World Tour on Jan 25, 2025, and it will be their largest show in Singapore. They last performed at the Singapore Indoor Stadium in 2022. Tickets sold out quickly and many carrots, the name given to 17's fans, were disappointed when they could not snag a ticket. Tickets to their show at the much larger National Stadium range from $168 to $388 and will go on general sale on Nov 15 at 10 a.m. via Ticketmaster. The world tour will not include member Jungin, who enlisted in South Korea's mandatory military service in September. Chinese member Jun will not participate in the 2024 legs of the tour due to conflicting acting commitments. It is unclear if he will join the group in 2025. There will be two rounds of pre-sales. The Carrot Membership Pre-Sale, for those who are part of 17's official global fan club on Wevis, will begin on 13 at 10 a.m. and run till midnight. Fan club members who want access to the pre-sale have to register on Wevis before 11 a.m. on Nov 4. There will also be a pre-sale for Live Nation members via Livination Dots on Nov 14, 10 a.m. till midnight. Seventeen kicked off their tour with two sold-out concerts in South Korea in October and will tour cities in the U.S. and Japan before going to the Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, and Thailand. Known for songs like Don't Wanna Cry, 2017, Super, 2023, and their recent hit Love, Money, Fame featuring American producer DJ Khaled, 17 are one of the most successful K-pop boy bands of the moment. Their 2023 album, FML, sold a record-breaking 4.5 million copies in its first week and became the best-selling album worldwide in 2023. Their recent mini-album Spill the Feels, released in October, sold over 3.1 million copies in its first week. Their tour comes amid troubles for the group's parent company Hybe, which bought over their label Pledis Entertainment in 2020. The company has come under fire after a controversial internal document containing derogatory remarks about K-pop artists, including Hybe's own stable of stars, was leaked. Hybe has since apologized for the document. In what looked to be a response to the scandal, 17 Sungkwan wrote a lengthy Instagram post on Oct 29, in which he defended the rights of K-pop artists. According to South Korea news outlet, The Korea Herald, he wrote, Everyone working hard in the K-pop industry, including our members, are those who truly love what they do. Being a celebrity is a job that I chose, and there are things that I need to endure for the love I receive. But I do not believe that this job should be one where we suffer to the point of being eaten away by it. He added, You have no right to belittle our narratives. This goes not only for us, but for other artists as well. We are not your items. I hope you do not think you can use and enjoy us at will. 